Joseph Mpala Ngulu. I am born in Kagoma Parish in the Diocese of Jinja and uh, I started my school for street primary school in Jinja where I studied from uh, primary one until primary seven. I was in a day school at that time uh, my parents were working in Jinja. Uh, my parents were both uh, teachers. My father was uh, the deputy headmaster at St. James uh, Senior Secondary School and my mother was teaching at Jinja SS, Jinja Senior Secondary School. She was teaching biology and uh, physics. So we were residing in Jinja and uh, we were residing at uh, Gokala Road. That's how but our village home uh, was Kagoma Parish. So after retirement, my parents uh, went back to the village. And from then, I went to join the minor seminary, our diocesan minor seminary, Uganda Matters uh, minor seminary, where we studied from senior one up to senior six. And we used to have our school in Ginger College. I did my secondary school up to uh, senior six, and uh, after, uh, after senior six, I went to Katigondo National Seminary in Masaka, where I did three years of philosophy. And after the three years of philosophy, where I graduated with a, a bachelor's degree. Uh, after that, we were appointed for pastor work. My friends were appointed to the parishes. Others uh, were appointed to Namundwa, Namunyanya. Uh, surprising for me, I was appointed to the minor seminary. After a successful completion of the pastoral year at the minor seminary, I was sent to Kenyamaska for Toto, St. Paul's uh, National Seminary in uh, Fort Porto, where I pursued my theological studies. And I did my theological studies in uh, St. Paul's Major Seminary, Kenya Massacre, for four years. After the third year in Kenya Massacre, I was ordained a deacon. And I was ordained a deacon in 1997 at Kaboma Parish, that is my home parish. And the parish priest at that time was Reverend Father Alois Helfer. May he rest uh, in eternal uh, peace. After that, the donation to the diaconate, I went back to the seminary for one year. And uh, I did uh, another year of theological training, after which I was ordained a priest on the 18th of July in 1998, still at Kaboma Parish. In the our class, we were 22 in Senior 1. We started uh, 22 uh, in, the, in Senior 1. And of those, uh, those 22, only three made it to the priesthood. Uh, that is myself, uh, Father Anthony uh, de Chanagandu, and Father Stephen Modola. We are the original class of uh, uh, senior one. The other uh, ones with whom we were doing the same year, those ones we found them on the way. But the original class of senior one, uh, of the 22, only three of us uh, managed to, to make it. Yes, our rector at that time was uh, Father Vincent Makopo, the founding rector of Uganda Matters Minor Seminary. Particular worth mentioning also of Father Makopo. He had uh, been in America for a few years, I think two years, and he came back with uh, a new accent and uh, he used to uh, rap English and uh, you know some of us as uh, village boys and uh, uh, not so conversant with English and uh, yeah, he used to say, hey boys, come on. Philosophy was full of theories and uh, uh, difficult concepts and uh, a lot of speculations and uh, but in the end we got uh, we managed to get uh, to get used uh, theology that was now another 
another change from philosophy uh, to theology. Theology had uh, a lot of uh, uh, concrete uh, concepts and also uh, references to life and uh, how theology can gush into into praxis. We are not so speculative like uh, like uh, like philosophy. So as I was uh, enjoying the education office, uh, one day I came to a report to Bishop <coughs> Bishop Joseph Villegas because as a education secretary, I had to give the bishop <coughs> updates uh, all the time. And uh, in one of the moments I come to update him and all the programs we are doing, he immediately gave me some forms to fill in order to apply for studies in Rome. Rome it was quite hard at the beginning. Yeah, I must say it was very hard because of the new language. No, I did, uh, I did not know the language quite well. After the crash program, well, I could do, uh, I could follow a little bit. In fact, the first semester was uh, was quite hard. Yeah. I, st I, I went to study church history, and uh, I did my study of church history at the Gregorian University in Rome. And uh, at around uh, September 2008, I came back uh, home to diocese, and uh, I reported to the bishop at that time, who was Bishop uh, Joseph Willigas, and he was quite happy that I was back. I remember him standing up even to, to welcome me and to thank me for coming back. After that, the bishop told me, yeah, I was in a meeting, and uh, in that meeting, they were demanding or they were requesting for a lecturer of church history. And that is what you have studied. You will have a doctorate. Yeah, because it says uh, they are demanding for somebody with a, doc a doctorate in church history. And that was the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. And uh, I have been in uh, Nairobi and the Catholic University since 2009. It is uh, a nice experience because uh, it's an international community, I can say. We have uh, all types of, uh, you can say from uh, almost the entire Africa, we, we get into contact with them. It has been quite fruitful, it has been quite fruitful because much as uh, I have not baptized uh, many children and many adults, but I have trained many, many priests. If I count the number of priests that uh, have gone through my hand, there are over 1,000 priests. How did the vocation come up? Vocation is uh, a mysterious uh, calling that uh, develops slowly but surely. I remember as a young boy, at Main Street uh, Primary School. I used to come for Mass at the Cathedral or at uh, Our Lady of Fatima Parish. And at the Cathedral Parish, the Monsignor Siko used to welcome us uh, quite well. And Monsignor Siko used also to come to visit in our outstation, Magamaga uh, outstation, which is the present day uh, Kagoma Parish. And the, I can say the welcome that he used to give us and he used to, uh, to let us serve at Mass. We go uh, out with him and he's calling us, Toto, 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 to do this, Toto, do this. Yeah, and uh, even in the minor seminary, we used to come to the cathedral parish um, for one week because that was obligatory during the holiday you have to stay at the, the parish for one week. And that uh, welcome and uh, yeah, the vocation grew slowly uh, but surely and I felt yeah, this is a good life to, uh, to embrace. Yes, I'm having a Thanksgiving mass, the Thanksgiving celebration on the 22nd of July at the home of my parents because that is where the vocation started from. That is where the seed was planted. So we shall have a celebration 
in the home of my parents in Igombe village, which is in Kagoma uh, Parish. And uh, whoever listens to this uh, recording, you are warmly welcome to the home of my, my parents. You cannot get lost because my father was quite popular, having been a headmaster for quite a while and was the founding headmaster of uh, St. Gonza Gagonza Kagoma Secondary School. So even if you asked from Kagoma uh, Parish, or even if you asked from Buwende uh, Trading Center, and you say, I'm going to the home of uh, Mr. Masawa, they will bring you straight, because he was quite a popular and uh, a very famous uh, person. I would like first and foremost to thank God who has given me the good life to serve him all these years, the good health that I've enjoyed all these uh, 25 years I've been up and down, and also the safety that I've, uh, sometimes we're on the road, we're driving from uh, Nairobi to Jinja, you're riding on a plane from Europe to uh, and back and uh, yourself. I must thank God first and foremost. And also, ideally, uh, remember uh, my parents who laid the, the seed, the foundation. Yeah. And I continually pray for my late father. My mother is still alive. Yeah, though a little bit ailing, but uh, I hope she will be in good shape. Uh, during the, the feast as we thank God for these 25 years and uh, I call upon all young men who feel the vocation to serve the Lord to come on board and embrace this uh, priestly uh, vocation just like every life there are challenges the priesthood has its challenges even in a life that uh, so once uh, we have our ups and downs, but on the, in the end, you manage to get them. So, I uh, thank you all and uh, welcome you all for the Thanksgiving celebration in uh, Igombe village in Kagoma.